me what's going on for you how could i help um i began studying about three weeks ago and um i was i wasn't very confident to begin with and uh i think with logic games i was able to by practicing more and learning more about uh, about more and more strategies, I was able to implement them and uh, save time. But also, I think the one of the most challenging part would be drawing a diagram that would essentially help me and like save me a lot of time as I'm going through each one of those questions. So logic games, I'm getting a bit more and more confident with, and I'm trying to apply the strategy I applied with logic games to logic reasoning which uh, is about 50%. And um, so what I did was um, I'm just looking at a, a strategies. I have a Kaplan book. I'm looking at the strategies that uh, they outline and um, just going through some of the sections and um, seeing what works and what doesn't work for me. And there are always a good number of questions where I come down to two answer choices that I can argue for both of them. And, uh, and if I go with my, I, I noticed that if I went with my gut feeling, I would have, I would have gotten the correct answer choice, but then I pause myself like, and think maybe the LSAT, the individual that prepped this question is trying to trick me. And so I choose the wrong answer choice. And, um, it, it, and I go back to the Kaplan books and I also use the resources that you provide. And I'm trying to, I guess one of the things I'm, just, I'm trying to do right now is uh, learn how to use all the information that I have access to for my uh, benefit. But being able to know how to use those information in a short period of time, because I won't be studying for the LSAT forever. And um, yeah, I, I think even uh, with uh, logic games, I noticed that even if I do feel confident about uh, a diagram, there are a couple of questions where I do get wrong. So it's, uh, of course, they're the most challenging questions. And um, and I don't have a lot of access to many like uh, tutorial videos or videos that explain why this is the correct answer. Because I noticed one of the important things is with LR is learning why an answer you thought was correct, why it's wrong. Creating habits that promote me to choose the correct answer. Because some of the answer choices are pretty close or maybe I'm just overthinking it. All right, let me stop you there because yeah. <laughs> we've got a lot of material here we could work with. First off, I think it's a mistake to try and use every resource that you have access yeah. to because there's too much out there. Aside exactly. from the book you have, aside from my resources, yeah. you've got Google. There, you yeah. have too much information. The problem yeah. is not how to pull it all together. The problem is to pick and choose what to use mm -hmm. and what not to use. Yeah. You've got to find what works best for you specifically mm -hmm. and stick with that system. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to sometimes use from multiple sources, but the problem is when it gets you feeling overwhelmed and you've yes. only got so much time before test day. You can't possibly work through even every single free resource out there, mm -hmm. let alone the paid ones out there. Exactly. So pick a couple or one, preferably mine and stick to it. That's, that's <laughs> the key. I think just to pick something, stick to it and streamline. You know, I, I right. focus on boiling things down to their essence. My mm -hmm. course videos are, a lot of them are really short, especially mm -hmm. the foundational tutorial videos the stuff, yeah. the style that you were talking about like those are pretty concise those are short to the point yeah. there's others that are hours and hours long you may not mm -hmm. have time for everything you got to pick and choose yeah with regard to what you said on logical reasoning overthinking it yeah that can happen so I, I would ask you which are these questions if they're in the first 10 they're probably on the easier side because mm -hmm. they're not trying to trip people up and those you might want to go with your gut yeah. Then for the later ones, there actually are tricks there and it's worth taking a moment to really reconsider and make sure that you fully got it. Yeah. So I just touched on two of the points that you raised. How does all that strike you? I, with, with, logic with logic reason, I know that it is in the middle of the section. The uh, question is in the middle of the section that I, there are a good number that I do get tripped up on. And um, I would say um, questions that ask how uh, the stimulus is supported by the answer choice. Yeah. Because uh, there are moments where you do have to assume some outside information to get, to come, I think, come up with a conclusion that the stimulus is based off the stimulus, but there are always one or two answer choices I get tripped up on. So when the stimulus is supported by an answer choice, that's strengthened, right? Yeah, strengthened. It's strengthened. Yeah. We're talking strengthened here, opening the door to new information. Yes. 
doesn't matter how strong it is as long as it actually strengthens the argument. Mm -hmm. So when you have trouble on these, is it about the stimulus? Is it about the answer choices or is something else altogether? I would say in a couple of uh, questions, I noticed that it was the wording of the stimulus. And another thing that I, I am trying to work more on is uh, breaking down the stimulus and kind of, because it does get wordy and I am timed. And I think the pressure of me timing myself and then trying to understand the wordiness of the stimulus is, is I'm trying to build a method where I can just break it down, just drawing on the text and saying, this is the conclusion is supported by this part. And when they use this term, they're actually, this is what they mean because they referenced it in the previous question. Yeah. So. So it sounds like to me that you know what you've got to work on. You've yeah. got to just engage in detailed review yeah. of the stimulus, any stimulus with a method of reasoning yes. that trips you up. Dissect mm -hmm. it, break it down, make sure that you thoroughly understand the reasoning after the fact mm -hmm. so that you won't make that same mistake again in terms of missing something. Because there's lots of ways they increase the difficulty level of a stimulus. And you've got to figure yeah. out which particular things tend to give you trouble. So it could be things like words like unless, it could be things involving conditionality. It could just be yeah. topics you don't like, but yeah. you got to focus on those. Exactly. I, even if I apply that to, I think, the hardest questions, I just still get stumped up. I mean, that the, me, me breaking down the stimulus doesn't really help. It is not with, uh, I think it would be a good three questions that it does, I get stuck on. And I, I, it worries me that uh, in, in that is a timed exam. And uh, I can go through all the easy questions and come back. But um, the thing is not knowing why an answer choice is not correct. The, the answer choice that I, I, I chose, why that is not correct. But another answer choice is correct. Mm -hmm. Because after breaking down the stimulus, I, like, I form a reasoning in my head why I should choose this answer. And then I kind of get stamped off on... I don't, I, I guess after going over my answer, I don't, I still don't understand why that would be the incorrect choice. Okay. So that's part yeah. of the review process as well. Not just yeah. getting the stimulus, but also thoroughly understanding the answer choices, mm -hmm. knowing what was tempting about the wrong answer choice that made you pick it and yeah. what ultimately makes it wrong. Yeah. And what was discouraging about the right answer that pushes you away from it mm -hmm. and what ultimately makes it correct. And this takes time. You've got to write this out. You've got to talk it over with somebody, like a study buddy, a coach, a, a tutor, a study partner, yeah. somebody who can talk through it with you. And maybe they're not giving you the answer, but they're giving you the space mm -hmm. to articulate it for yourself yeah. and derive the correct answer. It takes time, a lot of time, but it's worth it. And you can Google for explanations too, but I wouldn't want you to use those as a crutch. Yeah. I would want you to focus first on getting it for yourself. Would you recommend other strategies in like... Um in the LR section, uh, I just go immediately, just look at the stem and try to assess what it's asking me to do. And then either, and then go ahead and read the, the stem question and then go ahead and read the stimulus and um, break it down based on what this asking me. For example, if I'm being asked what the main point is, I just try to find the evidence and uh, uh, the conclusion, how support it. And with supporting uh, questions, I just, I just have information there and then you try to, I guess I try to see what the overall point of that information that is there is getting to. Would, there, would, you, would you suggest another approach or? I don't think it's really about that. What, what you just described sounds fine. And we could okay. argue stem, stem first versus stimulus first. I, I've shared my thoughts on that elsewhere. That's not the point though here. I think the point for you is not spending as much time trying to use every resource possible uh -huh. and instead using only the resources you truly need and can use efficiently and engaging in detailed review of all the problems that give you trouble. If yeah. you do that, your score will improve. Mm -hmm. And uh, another thing I noticed that I, as I'm getting, I'm getting more comfortable with the logic games, but uh, hybrid always takes a lot of time. I, well, I well, the thing that I like about logic games is like some, it's like math in that you can, uh, if you learn the basics, you can apply it to a bit more complex uh, problems. But um, it'll definitely, I think it's the timing that I'm worried about, uh, both for all sections, but especially for logic games and logic reasoning. And is that, um, well, of course I need to practice, take more practice tests and learn what uh, I need to work on. But are there any tips that would help me 
kind of like save time on some questions. Do you know yeah. I'm getting it? Yeah, there's two yeah. quick things I'll share with you and then you yeah. can see this executed in my explanations for nearly 50, logic 50 exams worth of logic games. It's actually nearly 200 games I've explained on video on YouTube for free. Mm -hmm. Now, the two quick tips I'll give you, one is to reuse previous work, previous hypothetical scenarios. Mm -hmm. So don't do the questions simply in order, do them in the order that allows you to maximize use of previous work. So you're doing your orientation question, then your local questions, and then your global must be true questions, for example, so that you can use the local diagrams to help you solve the global general questions. Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing relates to what I would say is simply making more inferences up front, making more inferences up front. So don't just jump directly into the game. Mm -hmm. Some games will have fewer inferences. Some games will have more inferences. Occasionally, there's like a weird curveball game that has very little you can do up front, but mm -hmm. most of them will allow you to do something. And the more inferences you make up front, the mm -hmm. smoother the process will be along the way. Okay. And different people will have different levels of comfort with how much time to invest up front. But if you see a clear path to laying out those inferences or multiple main diagrams, mm -hmm. then I would do that. All right. Now, I think that because one of my main issues is with being able to, like, you're just thrown. There's so much information that I could use, just kind of being able to compartmentalize which one is for me and which one can help me save time on, on going through these sections. And, but as you said, I think it's very important to just find a few that works and go with those resources. Excellent. So it was, this is great. Before we sign off, what would you say is yeah. the biggest insight you got from our call today? I, an important thing would be like finding what works for you. So it's, um, it's not, I don't have all the time to, uh, uh, practice for the else I have, uh, you know, I got work to do and I also have other things on um, my plate. It's finding what works for you, but applying that not only in resources, but also in uh, sections like logic games. I, what I, one thing I noticed about after looking at videos after videos of logic games and how the instructor got to the answer is the di your diagram doesn't have to match their diagram. It's just how what diagram do you need for you to be able to uh, synthesize the information given to you so you can quickly answer those questions? And um, I think it was the hybrid games that got me to realize that because I would try to imitate what I've seen uh, uh, <laughs> book instructions do or what I've seen in the video, but it, it would confuse me more. So I would just take the time to build a diagram that works for me. And I noticed that the more logic games uh, that I do, the more, uh, I noticed that there are essentially four diagrams that I just need to, like, that I need to be able to solve majority of the logic games that uh, I will face. So uh, just essentially go, coming back to the statement that doing work for you will be more effective in not only saving time, but getting to the questions, getting to the right answers. Excellent. Well, I'm glad um, I was able to help. Please keep in touch. All and right. Let me know if you need anything moving forward. Will do. Thank you. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.